I'm a man, and I noticed as I've gotten older, I've gotten extremely more sensitive to things. I mean, you was 26 last year. Uh, yeah, I know, but, but I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten, but at, when I hit 28, I know I'm going to be even more sensitive. Yes, so right. I, and, I, and I don't know why I'm so sensitive. <laughs> I'm Ralph Tresvent right now. <laughs> I'm a you, well, you, know, you, you at that point in your life where you've evolved, yeah. where that, that, that paternal instinct and that, that, that <coughs> settling down, you and know yo, what I'm saying? I find myself crying when I watch Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Aww. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got paternal. Yo, real talk, like I sit there and certain things, like it was an episode that I watched just today and the, it was an older white man and his wife slipped into, yeah. you seen it? And I felt myself yeah, like, yo, yeah. I, I was hurt and they wanted to take her <laughs> off life support yeah. and he was like, no, y'all, she's gonna wake up. She And I felt, I start going like this. This, this you touched you, bro? Oh, shit. I'm, oh, don't take her off life support. <laughs> you, you was invested. I was, uh, yo, yeah. I, I'm that sensitive. Even yeah. with the Wendy Raquel Robinson when she got yeah. shot, when she and, got and, shot. And, and he was like, yo, I don't want you to go out to do that no more. You and need all, to, yeah, and yeah, and as soon after the, as all soon all the police came, I, got, I get real emotional about stuff like that, and I start crying. I'm serious. I get teary-eyed oh. over stuff like that. So if I'm doing that, for Grey's television, for Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Just imagine when I call my girl and she don't pick up the phone in a minute for two or three days. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking, I'm like this. This is like, oh shit, I can't this shit. But yo, man, hey, man, make sure you call me, man, if you ever feel in any kind of way, bro. Hey, yo, uh, but let me tell you this, real, real yeah. talk. I know you're a no bundle matter, of nerves right no, now. No matter who I talk to, it's not going to make the situation better for me. There you go. Only person that can make the situation better her. is her and I. Yeah. I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face, but when I leave here, I know that you and April gonna get in the bed, y'all gonna snuggle up, they gonna be good, you gonna be like, hey girl, hey girl, come on over here. April's dad was gonna go down? Uh huh. <laughs> that was gonna go down. So me, I gotta go home, get in the cold bed, roll oh. over, and watch porn. So, <laughs> so it's like, it's like, yo, it completely desensitized yourself. That's right. I gotta go church, go watch Angel Eyes or Janet Jack Me. Or, or, so that's why Jack I keep it one hundred. Janet Jack Me, Julian Saint. Man, you, you a vintage order. dude. You so, vintage with yours, huh? So, so I, I, I got hey, <laughs> old collection, huh? I told you why, and then and the porn. I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm going to put this up too. I, the porn do. that I watch, you know, I watch. I only watch certain porn that look like chicks that I know. <laughs> oh, no, that's been creative. I, 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 well, chicks that I've dealt with in the past. I, I, I'm not a big porn watcher, right. but if I do watch it, the girls that's in porn, they have to look it's like in some, remembrance uh, have some familiar. They gotta, they gotta have some familiarity and, yeah. and, and, and see the porn chicks. They represent something. They, they, the porn chicks, they, they represent something that I never did with those ones before. They wow. Okay. Right? Okay. So but but visually they stimulate myself. They they, they, they they visually stimulate me because they remind me of somebody I know. Absolutely. That, that's that's but that's the science behind it. I don't know why I flipped this sidebar. That was you, you digress, but they that's right. We ain't gonna cut to the baby neither. We ain't gonna cut to the baby. Awkward pause. It was interesting. <laughs> Yeah, all right. So now we're back. That's so, that's so. But yeah, man, I, I'm just extremely sensitive, man. Hey, man, but you know what? I think it's extremely courageous for you to even be able to open up and have that type of dialogue with us and yourself because a lot of cats misconstrue their sens sensitivity for uh, a lack of masculinity. But your masculinity is even more prevalent when you have the courage to be sensitive like yeah, that. Yeah, but he will slap shit out of you though. Don't, don't I, get I it mean, twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't, get it twisted. Oh, yeah. don't, take, that, don't but take his what kindness what for weakness now. For sure. You don't do that. <laughs> only Grey's Anatomy and my girl give yeah. me that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All, but you know so, you, you babies do the same way. Right, so so that's that that's that's why uh my conf these are my confessions. <laughs> so so that's what I had to say about that, yeah. man. And I wanted to get that on tape because tonight I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna have this up tomorrow and people are gonna say, John's so nice, he's so Oh I can't wait to read your comments on this. Comments on this, right? So that's but, uh, nice. but this between this and the porn. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, we got we we, we covered both bases. Yeah. Me being sensitive and me being a porn freak. Absolutely. Okay. Got it all yeah. covered. A I vintage porn freak. Well, with that being said, yeah, I'm gonna sign off for the day. I'm gone. Uh, till the next time.